Fala galera, esse é um Bater Express com ninguém mais, ninguém menos que Mike Mangini. Mike, it's a pleasure to talk to you. What has changed in your life since you joined Dream Theater? I guess the major change is that part of my job requires me to practice, which is something I really like to do. I don't love to sit there and practice all day. I don't have the time to do that with the family and other responsibilities, but it's part of my job. It feels nice. Which one of the songs you recorded with Dream Theater is your favorite? And which one of those you did record, uh, record then is your favorite? I never thought about this because there are little pieces of many different songs. Let me say maybe... Um, uh, <laughs> it's hard to choose. Maybe uh, Illumination Theory. Okay, that would be my favorite. And the one I'm not a part of? Gosh, there are many. I know Dark Eternal Night's fun. <laughs> many of them are fun. Some of the you know, slower songs are fun too, you know, because I play with some swing that's not normal for this genre. In other words, I don't play all my notes. It's not like that. I put a little bit of little my, my jazz background <laughs> sometimes. I like so much. <laughs> yeah, I like that. I like that. In 2009, I don't know, you recorded uh, an album with a uh, Brazilian guitar player, Daniel Piquet. How was the experience to recording something in our country? Oh, it was fun, especially eating. <laughs> <laughs> But it was also nice that um, Daniel had written some music that I didn't hear, so I had to improvise again. But. There was an interesting Brazilian beat called a flevu, I believe is the way to say it, that I had never heard before. So it was nice for the engineer and Daniel to sing me this type of thing so I could interpret it on the drums, so that was nice. And improving a record session is a thing that you like? Yes and no. My favorite thing is this, just play and improvise, but a recording session The beauty of that for me is I come up with things that I could only do there. I would not come up with them here. I would not come up with them at home. Something happens that's special. It has to do with the environment. So every environment has something special. But what I don't like in the recording studio is when notes have to be hit so evenly and if I let go of a little velocity, there's not much slap on the drum, it's, oh, it's work. So that's the downside of recording. Uh, uh, but the pressure, uh, it's normal to you? It's all pressure to me. <laughs> it's all the same. <laughs> Do you know any Brazilian drama? Uh, would you like mention of one of them? Oh, I love Achilles, Priester, very much. Yeah, I'll mention him. <laughs> Thank you. I love so much. Is uh, my drone hero. Oh, great. That's good. You were older than 40 when you joined the Dream Theater. Did you expect something like like that happen to your life? No. No. <laughs> Because in order for me to take a job and leave my job at Berkeley, it has to be an established band that makes enough income to be able to pay me so I don't have to go and work at that job too. Um, this only happens because a drummer dies, a drummer gets fired, or quits. And that happened. <laughs> yes, there's pressure because people have expectations. Expectations are impossible to live up to. They're just expectations are not very good things. Dreams are good, but I don't like expectations so much. But I realize that's reality. So um, the pressure was to mimic the parts the best I could without being creepy, you know, and following every little thing, um, but not to change something so much that fans are, hey, 
<laughs> or they think I can't play it because I change it or something. Or, you know, uh, when I first joined, if I hit the wrong symbol, I meant to. I knew people. I could see people. It's. I have a sense of humor, so <laughs> I. You know, I had a, a laugh. At this like, ah, okay, you got me. Fine. But here in Brazil, we have the traditional fans that uh, goes to the metal shows and uh, looks the drummer. Oh, oh, perfect. Oh, 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 have a mistake. <laughs> that happens to me, so I live with it. It's it's okay. People do that. Uh, uh, last but not least, uh, ping pong style question. Just answer uh, then with the first thing that comes to your mind, right? D drums. Phil. Uh, future. Money. <laughs> Family. Fun. Dedication. Hurts. Mike Portnoy. Great. Thank you so much, Mr. Mike Mangin. Please send a message to Brazilian drummers that love is you so much. Don't love me too much. I'm just a person. <laughs> I make mistakes, but thank you. <laughs> então é isso, pessoal. Esse foi o Batera Express com Mike Mangini. Não se esqueça de se inscrever no canal youtube.com.br The Web Drummer Show. Não se esqueça de curtir a nossa fanpage facebook.com.br The Web Drummer Show e adicionar nosso perfil no Instagram, que lá eu sempre estou postando as novidades. As redes sociais de Mike Mendini, não preciso nem mencionar, porque ele é um dos maiores do mundo. Thank you so much. Obrigado. <risos>